DIY packable stove for a hot tent. Oh yeah. yeah. and gals my name is matt this channel is all about hiking and backpacking we talk a ton about gear if you guys are into any of that stuff consider clicking on the subscribe button you guys couldn't tell by the thumbnail by the intro we're building a stove today a little bit of backstory recently i got into hot tenting a friend of mine has got a tv hot tent and we went out did a trip got down to negative 20. we stayed ridiculously warm it for me it was like a game-changing experience when it comes to winter camping so it kind of really got me on this kick for wanting to do my own hot tent so if you guys have been following the channel for a bit and you notice in the community tab i had a post a little bit ago talking about a project we're going to be working on this is a project we're going to be trying to do a budget hot tent we're going to start out making the stove i'm trying to do this as cheap as i can make this packable it's not going to be as light as titanium i'm not at the point of using titanium but the total cost of materials for everything that i picked up to build this thing was under 40 bucks canadian these are galvanized sheet metal duct ends and before anybody freaks out at me because i use the word galvanized i fully understand what's going to happen if i light a fire inside this with a galvanized coating i have zero intention of using this stove with the galvanized coating what we're going to do, we're going to build the stove and then we're going to deal with the galvanized coating and we're going to completely eliminate it before we have fire in this thing. So I've got a couple different methods of getting rid of the galvanized coating. It's going to be completely safe. We'll talk about that at the end, but for now we're going to get into how we're going to kind of build this stove and piece this thing together. Four of these duct ends, these are 14 by 8. And this is a 10 by 8 and then this is a 12 by 8. Got a couple pieces of this steel strapping. This is going to be the side supports, which is what essentially holds it together. And it's also going to double as the legs. Holding it together is just going to be a couple stove bolts. My plan is to try and build this so that it essentially holds together with eight stove bolts. And it should all collapse and be able to pack down. So that's kind of my plan. That's kind of the hope. So we're just kind of winging it on this. I think the first step we're going to do is trim these guys down to make the front and the back and then sort of roughly fit it together, figure out where we're gonna drill our hole so that the hope is I can drill a hole that should catch this piece of metal, this piece of metal, and the side piece all at the same time. That's kind of my hope. So one stove bolt, hopefully going through, should be able to hold all three pieces together. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. And be super freaking careful. This stuff is ridiculously sharp. If I can cut in a straight line. Measure eight inches up. We got our front and back spot here. Look at that. Ooh, little box. We built the box. We got a box. Cool. All right. Now we got to figure out where on this thing to place our holes. Figure out where to 
place our holes through this panel here to catch all three. Let's see what we can do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take two sides at a time and I use a board to lock the corner here in place. And then, do it this way. So get this locked as tight into the corner as I can. I'm gonna clamp it. So I'm trying to clamp it just at the top here and I'm gonna put a hole through there. Hopefully this works. Our whole first bolt. Next, what I will do is take the front panel. I'm going to put If I'm as smart as I think I am, I should have here. Three pieces. Together. Hold in. Vice old bolt. That right there should kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm going for. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna start working my way all the way around this thing and putting more holes in, bolting the rest of this thing back up. I think what I'm gonna to have to do after I've got this completely put together is I'm probably gonna to have to scribe these sides on this or something just to, to mark which is the front and which is the back. Just so I guarantee I know that these holes are all lining up properly. Okay, awesome. Well, my camera shut off on me, so uh, you guys missed me drilling a bunch more holes and cursing at myself, but we got the box built. So I've got the front here. I didn't put the front in yet. We still got to cut the door. I don't have a way of putting it together with the front off. Or well, if I put the front on without the door and the opening, I can't get my hands in there to put anything in. So now we're going to figure out how big we're going to make the door. So hopefully you guys can see this here. I got the basic shape that I'm going to end up cutting out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes at the four corners here so I can get my snips in and then start trimming this out. And what's going to happen is this edge here is going to actually get bent forward a little bit and this one here is going to get bent forward a little bit and the door should slide in there. That's the hope. That's what we're going for. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Try and do is make a bend in this line here. can see what I'm trying to do here but I basically have folded it down and then like bent it back up so the idea is the door will slide into that channel I'm 
gonna come up a little closer here and show you guys what we got going on. This piece here, this is gonna be the front of the stove. So what I've got here is I folded it, this that little tab I had at the front, I folded it down and then I rolled up a little channel here. I did the same on the other side. So in theory, what should happen is when you cut a door to the right size and I doofed here and I just miscalculated, but it should just slide in through this channel. And that's how my door is gonna work. Obviously, my door piece here was not big enough, so I'm gonna have to grab another piece of sheet metal here to make a door, but we can leave that for now. That's the least of my worries. We got the door channel and everything figured out, so that should work. Awesome, so now, you should be able to bolt this on the front of this thing and get the rest of the stove built. So there we go. Eight stove bolts holding the box together. This is our basic stove. Front here, obviously, this is not gonna work for the door. We're gonna have to recut a new piece, but that's fine. We can do that at a later date. Blue will go in the back corner here. I'm not 100% sure what size I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna go with a three inch, but we're gonna leave that for now. We're gonna figure out the legs now. So my plan with the legs is taking some of this steel strapping piece here. And it's gonna go along the sides and go down and then it'll bend. So what I'm gonna do is basically end up popping holes in this stuff and that's going to go right onto the side here. So I'm just going to measure the distance between my stove bolt holes, mark each strap, drill holes, they should line up and it should work for the legs of the stove. So let's see what we can do here. Holes on each of those, they all worked out being seven inches apart. So as I pop the last leg on here, I think it's time to talk about my plan for this galvanized coating. So what we can do here too is maybe even flex these legs out a bit. And there we go, look at that, hey, look at that. stands up and everything that, that actually works so that should work so then we'll figure out what we're going to do for a flu get a hole popped in there and yeah we'll go from there but uh next step like i said at the very start is now i gotta figure out a way to deal with a galvanized coating on this thing there's two different ways that i know of that you can deal with a galvanized coating the first one, and this is not the method I'm going to go with, is I know some people will just do a burn in one of these and basically just burn the galvanized coating off. Um, I'm not really comfortable with that. That's just not the method that I'm going to use. But uh, the method that I'm going to use to get rid of the galvanized coating in this stove, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to set this thing in acetic acid or literally, I'm just going to take this downstairs and put it in a tub of vinegar. So I'm going to disassemble all these pieces. I'm just going to go and sit it downstairs in a big Rubbermaid tote, fill it with vinegar, and I'm going to let that sit for about 24 hours or so. And then I'm going to come back and check it. If the galvanized coating is all gone, then I'm going to put it in a solution of water and baking soda to neutralize the acid. Um, this is actually a tip that I picked up from some welders that I used to work with when uh, we got a couple of galvanized fittings and they didn't want to weld the galvanized fittings because obviously that zinc poisoning is really, really not good. So... Yeah, they just let it sit in vinegar overnight and it took care of the galvanized coating. So that's my plan. That's what we're going to try doing with this. So for part two of the DIY stove build, we're going to come back with hopefully a stove that does not have a galvanized coating on it. We're going to figure out what we're going to do for a flue. We're hopefully going to have a door that actually fits next time. 
and then we're gonna do a burn in this thing. So after that, with the series, what we're gonna go for, then we're gonna go sourcing out a tent. Now, tent wise, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna go with yet. I do know I wanna go with a teepee style tent. I just, I really enjoy the teepee style tents. I, I just, I don't know, I like them. Um, I had a ton of fun with my buddy Bo using his teepee tent. So that's kind of what I wanna go with for my personal setup. And in the long run, the plan is hammock hot tenting. That's kind of what we're going for. That's what we're going to hopefully turn this entire series into eventually at some point. Um, I, I, I do have bigger and better plans for the stove setup. This is, this gives me hope. This is a, a proof of concept that I, I could build something like this. And you know, we're going to, we're going to do a, a burn in this after we get rid of the galvanized coating. We're going to see if it works. We're going to try it out. We're going to take it on a trip and hopefully at some point down the road when I get some better sheet metal working skills, we'll source some out. I am hoping and planning on trying to do a stove out of titanium at some point. So that's kind of the plans for this series going forward. We're basically doing a budget hot tent. Like I said, we got for the most part our stove built, but uh, yeah, this uh, goes to show proof of concept, eight stove bolts, a couple pieces of sheet metal, a little bit of time. And uh, you know, we got our, the basis of our stove ready to go. Um, I, I kind of like this, like all my hardware here is on the outside. So I've got a nice flat spot on top for putting pots and whatever. Um, yeah, that, it worked out exactly like I wanted it to. I mean, aside from the door, which just, I'm dumb. I mean, you know what? I'm actually kind of glad the door didn't work out because like a door that small, like I like the opening being, I actually kind of like the opening being that big. I mean, I could put some sizable logs in there. You know what I mean? We got a, how big is the opening on this thing right now? We got a five inch opening here. So pretty happy with it. Uh, I mean, after, you know, after we get a burn and everything going, one thing I think I may look at adding is maybe a couple holes at the bottom here just to get some more airflow. But uh, yeah, I, I'm super stoked. I'm super happy that this turned out as, as well as it did and it actually kind of looks functional. So this is gonna wrap it up for the, the DIY hot tent stove. If, uh, if you guys are enjoying this one, smash that thumbs up. And you know, if you guys are wondering what's kind of got me into the DIY tent stove idea, up top here, we got a minus 20 trip I did with some buddies. We took a teepee hot tent out, had an absolute blast, had a ton of fun, had some gorgeous scenery. So make sure you guys go check that out. Subscribe if you're not already. And as always guys, I am Maddie. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.